I wanted to share a quick video of what makes the Titan Store dock box the best dock box you can get in the industry. First off, this is the seven footer. Um, this unit is a roto molded plastic, so it won't age like fiberglass does. It won't get chalky, it won't lose its finish, it won't get itchy. Um, they also tend to get brittle and spider crack when they get older where the plastic will not. Um, as I said, this is a seven foot model. Let me give you an idea of the width. So it fits a lot of gear, but yet doesn't take up all your space on your dock like a lot of the wider dock boxes do. They've got an anti-tamper system here on the hinge. First off, it's under the lid. It doesn't have a standard nut on it. It's actually got a tamper-proof nut. On the side here, you will see they're vented on both sides. When I open the lid here, one thing you'll see is I can lift this lid with one hand. And when I do, it doesn't flex. You'll see a lot of the option, a lot of the lids on a lot of the dock boxes will flex real bad if you pick them up from one side. This lid doesn't flex at all. We opted to use a spring system for the hinge instead of pistons. Gas pistons, when they get cold, tend to either not lift or when they get really hot, they tend to actually want to push the lid open and they just don't hold up over time. This is a simple pull hinge to lower it. And on this side, we've actually got a high wind lanyard. Um, here you can see the box, it's single piece construction, nothing is bonded. There's a good look at the vents from the inside. The other thing you'll see is with this lid up, once again, no flex. Um, one thing I do like to show as well is down on the side, you'll see that the hinge is actually behind the opening on the box. So the lid doesn't take up any of your space to put things in here. You'll see that it has two locking sections here and here. And on those locking sections, you'll see we've got keyed barrel locks that go through there. The last piece I want to show you is most boxes cannot support weight on the lid unless they're specifically designed to take it. This box can actually take 1,500 pounds evenly distributed on top. So what you'll find is if you sit on it, multiple people sit on it, you're not going to get any flexing. You know, you don't get any dimpling like a lot of the boxes do when you were to push on them like that. So the last thing I want to show you is they do have a nice flat spot here on the front where you can put a logo, a boat name, a slip number, whatever it be. Sometimes HOAs require you to put your slip number on there. Um, just in general, a nice box. Comes in multiple colors. This is the white with the blue lid. But we'd love to uh, discuss further. If you want a free estimate, give us a ring. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video.